If you wish to shape your career in DevOps, the first question which strikes in your mind is which DevOps should I need to learn? AWS DevOps or Azure DevOps or some other DevOps is there? If you have this confusion, then this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome to Veloxi Technologies. In this video, we are going to cover what is the difference between DevOps, AWS DevOps and Azure DevOps. To understand this better, first we need to understand what are the roles of a DevOps engineer. DevOps engineer majorly works in two areas. One is CI/CD, nothing but continuous integration and continuous delivery or deployment. Another one is infrastructure management. If you see the activities of a CI/CD, he handles the source code and he build or compile this code. Once he build, we get artifacts, right? He manage those artifacts, then he deploy those artifacts on the target environment. So if you see these activities, the first activity is developer give the code to source code management that is where DevOps engineer role start. He take this code and build. This build happens multiple times. That is the reason we should able to store these artifacts in the artifact management system. And we need an integration tool because we are using different tools for this purpose. To communicate one with other we should have integration tool and we also going to use a deployment tool to deploy in the target environments target can be a dev qa pre prod prod so the target could be the infrastructure now do we deploy only our artifacts in the target environment or do we manage that infrastructure if you ask me that question yes we should manage the infrastructure as well so infrastructure management have different tasks like provisioning containerization and container management why because most of the applications are either containerization or microservices nowadays and uh, this we can able to deploy in the on-premises or cloud environment but uh, many companies or many organizations are using cloud so cloud is a mandatory skill and we should monitor this infrastructure that's the reason monitoring skills are necessary so these are the major activities which can be done by a devops engineer so to perform these activities we are going to use the tools now these tools are two types one is open platform or open source tools another one is cloud native tools first we are going to see what are available in the open platform whenever i say open platform the tools which are not dependent with the other tools and not the cloud native services so in the open platform there are various tools i mean to say hundreds of tools are available i am taking some of the important or widely used devops tools if you take the source code management, majority cases you can see Git, GitLab, Bitbucket. So these are the tools. In case your source code is Java, then it is going to be Maven as a build tool. In case .NET, MS build. In case Node.js, NPM. Like that it changes. And artifact management, widely we use Artifactory. And integration and deployment, widely we use Jenkins. Whenever it comes to the infrastructure, we are going to do different activities over there. So there are different tools. If you take Terraform, it is provisioning tool. If Docker is a containerization tool, Kubernetes is a container management tool, AWS is a cloud platform. Why I am choosing AWS is it is widely used cloud platform. And for monitoring Prometheus and Grafana, we can use. So the open platform tools are going to be like this. GitHub, Maven, JFrog, Artifactory, Jenkins, Terraform, Docker, Kubernetes, AWS, Prometheus and Grafana. If you have these tool skills, then I can say that you are a DevOps engineer, not a cloud native DevOps engineer. Next thing is how we can able to set up the same stuff in AWS. Before that, I have a quick announcement. If you are looking for AWS plus DevOps training or Azure DevOps training, then you can reach out to these contacts. We will help you. Next, let's go and see how we can able to set up this AWS DevOps level. So here we need to use some of the AWS services as alternatives for this setup. First, if you see the GitHub, I mean to say version control system, we have a code commit. Build tool, we have a code build. Artifactory, we have code artifact. Continuous integration tool, then we can use code pipeline. And infrastructure provisioning, we can use the cloud formation. But the beauty of Terraform is it integrates with the most of the clouds. So even we can use the Terraform. And uh, anyway, we are already using AWS, nothing to change over here. So in case if you are setting up AWS DevOps, the tool set is going to change something like this. Majority cases, it will change in the CI CD, code commit, code build, code artifacts, code pipeline. And uh, instead of Terraform, we can use the cloud formation. So this is how we can set up this environment in AWS DevOps. Now, if you want to set up same thing in Azure DevOps, then similar way for GitHub, we have an alternative of three posts. 
for jenkins and maven we have a alternative of azure pipeline for artifactory we have alternative of azure artifacts then for terraform we have azure resource manager anyway we are talking about azure devops so environment also we should use azure and docker and kubernetes these are required for the containerization and management and uh, monitoring we can use azure devops tools but still prometheus also works so this is how we can able to set up the azure devops so in case if you want to become a cloud native devops engineer better to have the cloud native administration skill i mean to say if you want to become azure devops engineer then learn azure administration plus add the azure devops tools if you ask me that which one to choose i would preferably say that go with the open platform devops tools why should we need to go with many companies use the open platform devops tools so your opportunities are more and the second advantage is in case if you learn the open devops tools you know how it works end to end and it is easy to adapt with the other cloud devops tools because only some portion of your devops environment is going to change because it changes only the ci cd this infrastructure level most of the tools are same even though you go with a cloud native tools next thing is community so many people works with the open platform tools you will have a better community support okay this is my opinion hopefully this information helpful for you if you have your different thoughts or if you have any questions request you to post it in the comments i am happy to help you thank you and see you in another lecture